Manila, Philippines. In the heart of Southeast Asia, a city known for its vibrant energy and relentless pace is on the verge of a historic transformation. Beneath the bustling streets of Metro Manila, a long-held dream is finally becoming reality. For years the city's millions of residents have navigated crowded roads and endured daily commutes that can stretch for hours. Now, huge machines are digging deep underground, carving out the path for the country's very first subway system, a project that promises to change the way Filipinos move through their capital forever. This is the story of the Metro Manila subway, a bold and ambitious project that could be a true game-changer for millions of Filipinos, offering a new way to travel and a new vision for the city's future. For decades residents have battled some of the world's worst traffic, with gridlock on major roads like EDSA becoming a daily struggle and a symbol of the city's growing pains. But, now, hope is on the horizon. Or, rather, beneath it. The subway represents a new dawn for Metro Manila, promising relief from congestion and a faster, more efficient way to get around. Imagine traveling across the city in minutes not hours. The subway will connect key districts, business centers and residential areas, making daily life easier for everyone. The project is a massive undertaking, involving international cooperation, advanced technology, and the dedication of thousands of workers from the Philippines and around the world. Giant tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, are working around the clock, drilling through earth and rock to create the tunnels that will soon carry sleek, modern trains. These machines are carving out tunnels that will soon be filled with the sounds of trains and the footsteps of commuters, connecting neighborhoods and transforming daily routines. Construction crews are busy building stations that will serve as gateways to this new underground world, each one designed to handle thousands of passengers every day. Each new section of tunnel and every completed station brings the dream closer to reality, marking progress in a project that has captured the imagination of the nation. This is a story of innovation, perseverance, and hope unfolding deep below the city's surface where every meter gained is a step toward a brighter future. In this series, we will explore the route of the subway and the key places it will connect, from bustling business districts to quiet residential neighborhoods. We will look at the amazing technology being used, like the giant TBMs, engineering marvels that make this underground journey possible. You will learn about the funding behind the project, the different phases of construction, and the state-of-the-art trains that will soon be gliding beneath Manila's streets. Join us as we go underground to reveal the milestones, challenges, and progress of the Metro Manila subway, a project that is reshaping the city and inspiring a new era of urban mobility for generations to come. The Metro Manila subway is often called the project of the century for the Philippines, and for good reason. It represents a bold leap forward in the country's infrastructure, promising to transform how millions of Filipinos move around the capital every single day. This is the nation's first ever underground mass transit system, a historic milestone that marks the beginning of a new era in Philippine transportation. For decades, Metro Manila has struggled with traffic congestion and limited public transit options, but this subway aims to change all that. Designed to be high capacity, reliable, and climate resilient, the subway is built to withstand the challenges of Metro Manila's unpredictable weather. Even during heavy rains and flooding, the system is engineered to keep the city moving, ensuring that commuters can rely on it no matter the season. The subway's route is carefully planned to serve the busiest and most vital areas of the metropolis, connecting people to where they work, study, and live. Phase 1 alone stretches over 33 kilometers, linking Valenzuela City in the north to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in the south. This direct connection will make travel across the city faster and more convenient than ever before. This vital artery links major business districts like Makati and Ortigas, important government centers, and densely populated residential areas. It's designed to bring people closer together and make the city more accessible for everyone. Imagine a journey from Quezon City to the airport that could take just 35 minutes, a dramatic improvement over the hours-long commutes many endure today. This means more time for family, work, and leisure, and less time stuck in traffic. Once operational, the subway will serve an estimated 519,000 passengers every day, providing a fast, safe, and comfortable alternative to road travel. By moving so many people underground, the subway will significantly reduce the number of cars on the road. This will help ease Metro Manila's notorious traffic congestion and contribute to cleaner air by lowering vehicle emissions. But the project is about more than just transportation. It's about improving the quality of life for millions, making daily routines less stressful, opening up new opportunities, and connecting communities in ways never before possible. The Metro Manila subway offers a future where daily travel is smooth, predictable, and efficient. 
It's a vision of a city where people can move freely and confidently, no matter where they need to go. The Metro Manila subway is more than just a project. It's a lifeline beneath the city, promising a more mobile, connected, and sustainable future for generations to come. At the heart of the subway's construction are tunnel boring machines, or TBMs. A TBM is a giant mobile factory operating underground. It excavates the tunnel, removes debris, and installs concrete segments to form the tunnel wall. These machines are the titans of this project, working deep beneath the city. The TBM is assembled in a deep launch shaft, then begins its journey. The cutter head spins, grinding away at the earth. Excavated material is transported back and removed from the tunnel. As the TBM moves forward, concrete segments form a secure tunnel lining. TBMs allow construction with minimal disruption to the city above. They are the powerful engines driving this project forward, one meter at a time. The Metro Manila subway's construction is marked by exciting milestones. As of November 2025, significant progress is visible. Several kilometers of tunnels have been successfully excavated. TBMs are operating at full capacity, with some machines completing sections. The tunneling work for the northernmost section is nearing completion. Breakthroughs, like at the Ortigas station, are celebrated events. Station construction is advancing rapidly, with structures taking shape. The biggest hurdle has been right-of-way acquisition. Delays in acquiring land have affected the project's timeline. The government is working diligently to resolve these issues. Construction is prioritized in areas where right-of-way is secured. Every milestone achieved is a testament to the project's resilience. The Metro Manila subway will feature 17 stations in its first phase, stretching across key districts and connecting vital parts of the city. This ambitious project marks a new era in urban mobility for Metro Manila, promising to transform how people move and interact within the metropolis. Each station is designed to be a vibrant hub of activity, serving as both a gateway for daily commuters and a meeting point for communities. These stations will not only facilitate travel, but also foster social interaction and economic activity, making them integral parts of the neighborhoods they serve. Stations are carefully located to serve the maximum number of people, strategically positioned near business districts, schools, and residential areas. This thoughtful placement ensures that the benefits of the subway reach as many residents as possible, bridging gaps between distant communities. They will be modern, spacious, and user-friendly facilities designed with comfort and efficiency in mind. Wide concourses, clear signage, and intuitive layouts will make navigation easy for everyone, from first-time riders to daily commuters. Equipped with elevators and escalators, these stations ensure accessibility for all, including seniors, persons with disabilities, and families with young children. Accessibility is a core principle, making public transport inclusive and convenient. Platform screen doors will improve safety by preventing accidents and unauthorized access to the tracks, while also enhancing air conditioning efficiency for a more comfortable environment. Integration with other railway lines creates a comprehensive transport network allowing seamless transfers between different modes of transit. This connectivity will make it easier for people to reach their destinations across the city and beyond. Stations will act as catalysts for urban development, attracting new businesses, retail spaces and housing projects. The presence of a subway station often sparks revitalization and growth in surrounding areas. Areas around stations are expected to see significant growth, with increased property values and more opportunities for employment and commerce. This growth can help uplift entire communities and stimulate the local economy. Transit-oriented development creates vibrant, walkable communities where people can live, work, and play without needing to rely on cars. These neighborhoods are designed for convenience, sustainability, and a higher quality of life. By concentrating development around public transport, cities reduce reliance on cars, easing traffic congestion, and lowering pollution. This shift supports a healthier, more sustainable urban environment for everyone. The stations are seeds of a more connected and dynamic city, laying the foundation for a future where communities and commerce thrive together, and where every resident can enjoy the benefits of efficient modern transportation. 
The Metro Manila subway's cost is around 488.5 billion pesos, funded primarily through a loan from Japan via JICA. This support is crucial. The loan has favorable terms, making it a sustainable investment. Japan's involvement includes technology and expertise transfer. Japanese engineers work with Filipino counterparts, sharing knowledge. A joint venture of Japanese and Filipino companies handles construction. This blend of international and local expertise is vital. Japan's support is a key reason the project is happening. The partnership provides the missing pieces for Manila's subway. It builds the nation's capacity for future infrastructure projects. The Metro Manila subway's construction is organized into phases and contract packages. This approach allows simultaneous work by various teams, speeding up the timeline. The Department of Transportation oversees the project. The first phase involves the main line, stations, depot, and trains. Pre-construction includes design, soil testing, and right-of-way acquisition. Site preparation involves relocating utilities. Heavy civil works include digging station boxes and constructing tunnels. TBMs play a major role in tunnel excavation. Parallel work requires precise coordination for safety and efficiency. The final phase involves systems and finishing. Testing and commissioning ensure everything works before opening. The project is a testament to organized and efficient construction. The Metro Manila subway trains are state-of-the-art electric multiple units. Manufactured in Japan, 30 train sets have been ordered. Each train set consists of eight cars, prioritizing safety, comfort, and efficiency. Built by Sumitomo Corporation and JTREC, they offer a world-class experience. Spacious air-conditioned cars provide comfort from the city's heat. Wide doors allow quick boarding and alighting. Digital screens provide real-time information. Equipped with CBTC, trains run closer together, safely. Safety features include smoke detectors and emergency communication. These trains promise a safe, reliable, and comfortable travel experience. The Metro Manila subway is a revolution in motion, impacting the Philippines profoundly. It provides a fast, reliable alternative to road transport, saving countless hours. This improvement in quality of life is a key human benefit. Subway fares are expected to be competitive with other public transit. The Philippine Railway Institute trains skilled personnel for the subway. This focus on local expertise ensures long-term sustainability. The subway is a powerful engine for economic growth. Improved connectivity attracts investment and benefits businesses. The construction creates thousands of jobs. The subway is the backbone of a larger transportation network. Future lines and extensions will connect more cities and provinces. The Metro Manila subway changes the nation's landscape and outlook.